हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द न्यू टॉपिक एंड द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इट इज फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन सो इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट एग्जैक्टली वी मीन बाय द फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन सो लेट अस स्टार्ट दिस न्यू टॉपिक व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन so before moving to that particular topic we will take one example so dear students whenever we visit a metropolitan cities like pune mumbai we are always very much eager to listen the different radio channels like radio mirchi pune radio mirchi mumbai so this radio mirchi channel itself contains a beautiful entertainment programs so we can listen a different kind of music we can listen a different kinds of debates we can listen a different kind of news on such a kind of radio channels so uh, when we can start this particular channel we can hear a pleasant voice yes welcome to all of you to the radio mirchi pune 98.3 megahertz or radio mirchi mumbai 98.3 megahertz and through this entertainment channel we get a different kind of information now our basic question is that when that particular announcer says that welcome to radio mirchi mumbai fm 98.3 megahertz the question arises in front of us that what is this fm and what is this 98.3 and this particular topic gives you all information about fm and what exactly we mean by 98.3 so after listening this lecture you can capable to answer the full form of fm the definition of the fm also we can easily get answer about what is 98.3 so dear students fm is nothing but frequency modulation now the question arise in front of us what exactly we mean by the modulation so let us clear first of all the concept of modulation what exactly we mean by the modulation once we understood the concept of modulation then we will move towards the topic that is called as frequency modulation so dear students while discussing about the frequency modulation first of all we must know what do we mean by a low frequency signal so uh, this is nothing but the time domain representation of a signal so on x axis there is always a time and on y axis there is always a amplitude so on x axis there is a time y axis amplitude so it is called as time domain representation so this is a low frequency signal if we take one example suppose one singer is singing a song right and whatever the sound energy that will be propagated through this air is nothing but the physical energy so it is a physical energy so whatever the song that will be sing by that particular singer it will it just like a sound wave in your air now we can't transmit this sound waves for a longer distance this particular sound energy has itself its own limitations of longer range so uh, it can propagate either up to 1 feet 2 feet right uh, 
maximum up to 100 meter 10 meters not more than that so this particular sound energy generated by the single singer has its own limitations now suppose this particular singer is located in pune now whatever the person which is present in aurangabad he is not able to listen whatever the song which sung by this particular singer because the distance between pune and aurangabad it is too much long and it will be in kilometers so what we will do we are just first of all converting this sound energy into the electrical energy so our first basic motive is that convert sound energy into the electrical energy why we are converting because we want to transmit this sound in energy or this sound information to a longer distance with the help of electrical means so whatever the transducer we are using here it is nothing but a mic so mic is nothing but your microphone so we can say that microphone is a transducer which converts sound energy into the electrical energy so whatever the sound energy generated by the singer it will be first of all given to the microphone now this microphone converts this sound energy into the electrical energy so whatever the signal i have drawn here it is nothing but electrical representation of this sound energy dear students we know that whatever the audio frequency range we are using it is between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz right so uh, this particular frequency 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz is not sufficient to propagate for a longer distance of kilometers so first of all we have to generate such a kind of frequencies so that this particular sound energy it will be also available in Aurangabad. Now such a kind of frequency these are nothing but the voice signal or the low frequency signal or the low frequency audio signal. Yes so as the name itself indicates the frequency of the signal it is very much low. Now the biggest disadvantage of low frequency signal is that this particular low frequency voice signal cannot travel for a longer distance in air so through air this sound energy cannot be propagated for a longer distance so our basic motive is that we want to propagate this low frequency signal for a longer distance that is in terms of several kilometers so whatever the information so for example if the singer is present in pune then we can capable to listen his or her song in aurangabad also so for that first of all we have converted the sound energy into the electrical energy with the help of microphone so microphone gives us the output it is in electrical nature clear so this is the fundamental concept uh, of frequency modulation so uh, before moving to that particular modulation concept uh, we must know the block of modulator right and its concept to understand the concept here i have drawn a simple example a simple sketch over here with the help of this particular sketch we can easily understood the concept of modulating signal 
and the carrier signal right so dear students in our previous example we have understood one concept that whatever the sound energy generated by that particular singer is low frequency and we want to propagate it for a longer distance right and we also discussed that there is one disadvantage that this voice signal or a low frequency signal cannot travel for a longer distance in air right so to understood this particular concept let us have look over this particular diagram so dear students here you are observing uh, a car and one person is sitting in that particular car suppose we will take the same example suppose this particular person if he is located in pune so and if we want to travel for a 100 meter distance definitely he can travel this particular distance through a walk but suppose this particular person is located in pune and if he wants to travel a distance of 300 km is it possible that this particular person can travel or cover this distance through a walk so answer is quite impossible task so to travel a distance of kilometers or hundreds of kilometers or a thousand of kilometers we can take the help of vehicle so here car is nothing but a vehicle or we can say that it is a carrier on which this particular human being traveling the distance of 300 kilometers so uh, just by using a car this particular human can travel a distance of 300 kilometers so through this example what we understood that this person has no capacity to travel a distance of 300 km through walk so to cover this particular distance of 300 km this human being using this carrier as a car as a carrier and just by using this particular car which has a capacity to travel a distance of 300 km he can complete or he may complete his journey in the similar way if we can say that if this human being is a low frequency modulating signal or a voice signal which has not a capacity to travel a distance of hundreds of kilometer so at that time we are just superimposing this low frequency signal on a high frequency signal so your car is nothing but your just like a high frequency signal so we are superimposing low frequency signal on a high frequency signal and covering a longer distance so dear students once we understood the concept of uh, modulation here you are observing a conceptual diagram of modulation so whatever the low frequency information signal so example suppose uh, the sound of a song of that particular singer is nothing but low frequency information signal which we want to send a longer distance uh, the same signal we can once again pronounce in another name by modulating signal or we can say it as a base band signal so any thing or any name you can suggest or take so low frequency information signal is nothing but a modulating signal or it is also called as a baseband signal 
now i am giving this low frequency modulating signal or the information signal to a block and the name of the block it is nothing but the modulator now the another signal which is given to the modulator block it is nothing but a carrier signal and always keep in mind that the carrier signal it is always a high frequency signal so we are just superimposing your modulating signal or a low frequency information signal or a baseband signal on a carrier signal and whatever the output of this modulator is nothing but the modulated signal now this modulated signal can travel a longer range of distance that is of kilometers right so the low frequency signal we are just superimposing on the carrier signal and covering a longer distance of kilometer with the help of modulated signal so if we compare these two diagram so low frequency signal is here here that particular human being which wants to travel a uh, kilometers distance now here carrier signal it is a high frequency signal now it is just like a car on which this particular human being is placed now this car is covering a longer distance of kilometer here a modulated signal is covering a kilometers of distance so this is a basic concept of modulation now there are three different types of modulation techniques so amplitude modulation then frequency modulation then phase modulation now what we what do we mean by the amplitude modulation so amplitude modulation is the process in which we are changing the amplitude of the carrier with respect to instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal by keeping phase and frequency constant i will repeat once again the definition of amplitude modulation so in amplitude modulation amplitude of the carrier gets changed in accordance with what in accordance with instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal by keeping frequency and phase constant so if we want to discuss the same concept so let us have a look over yes so i will just draw a high frequency signal here now the frequency of high frequency signals parameter of this high frequency signal is either amplitude or frequency or phase now suppose this amplitude frequency and phase it is given to the modulator block so your carrier is connected to the modulator block so it is a high frequency carrier so hf now i am giving a low frequency modulating signal as a input to the modulator right now what happens i am just explaining the concept of am first and then we will move for the fm so with the help of am that is amplitude modulation so what we are saying that in am amplitude of the carrier gets changed in accordance with what instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal so whatever the amplitude instantaneous value of the amplitude change in amplitude of modulating signal in accordance with this instantaneous value the amplitude of carrier gets changed at that time in am frequency and phase are constant right so in am amplitude of carrier 
gets changed frequency and phase both are constant right now let us have a look over fm so in fm frequency of the carrier gets changed with respect to instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal now in fm amplitude and phase remains constant so frequency of the carrier gets changed while amplitude and phase constant in frequency modulation in the similar way we can say that in phase modulation phase of the carrier gets changed in accordance with instantaneous change in amplitude of the modulating signal by keeping your amplitude and frequency constant so in pm phase of the carrier gets changed and at the same time frequency and amplitude are constant so hope all of you understood the definition so if we talk about the frequency modulation we can say that in frequency modulation frequency of the carrier gets changed so that is our first outcome regarding your frequency modulation that in frequency modulation frequency of the carrier gets changed in the similar way we can say that in amplitude modulation amplitude of the carrier gets changed in the similar way we can say that in phase modulation phase of the carrier gets changed so if one of the parameter is gets changing then other two parameters remains constant so in frequency modulation frequency of the carrier gets changed so amplitude and phase constant so in am amplitude of the carrier gets changed then your phase and frequency remains constant and similarly in pm if the phase of the carrier gets changed then frequency and amplitude remains constant so these are the basic concept now whatever the frequency amplitude and phase of the carrier gets changing it is with respect to the amplitude of the modulating signal for all three cases keep in mind clear so uh, if once we understood this concept let us have a look over the advantages of modulation so uh, if with the help of modulation process uh, we can reduce the height of the antenna yes then mixing of the signal also gets avoided then the most important point that is range of communication gets increased multiplexing gets possible and another important point that is quality of reception it is also improved so lastly we can conclude one thing and we can write the concept of frequency modulation so hope all of you understood frequency modulation so in frequency modulation we can say that frequency of carrier gets changed with respect to change in instantaneous value of modulating signal so modulating signal is nothing but your baseband signal or a low information signal which we want to send value of modulating signal 
so frequency of the carrier gets changed with respect to the change in instantaneous value of the modulating signal by keeping amplitude and phase of carrier constant right so if we summarize it so carrier has three parameters frequency amplitude and phase so in frequency modulator frequency is changing right while amplitude and phase of the carrier is constant with respect to change in instantaneous value of the modulating signal right now let us have a look over the diagram of frequency modulation so dear students here you are observing a low frequency modulating signal and here you are observing the change in frequency of the carrier so whenever there is no input of the modulating signal carrier frequency is constant once the amplitude of the modulating signal goes on increasing frequency also increases so you are observing here maximum frequency similarly when the amplitude goes on decreasing then frequency of the carrier also decreases so minimum frequency so here you are observing the amplitude is constant as well as phase is also constant so frequency varies in proportion with the modulating signal so in frequency modulation frequency of the carrier gets changed with respect to the change in instantaneous value of amplitude of the modulating signal by keeping phase and amplitude of carrier constant so this is all about the frequency modulation concept so thank you thank you very much